The world was expecting tough action from the United States over the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. Just days earlier, the CIA reportedly concluded the journalist's death was ordered by the heir to the throne of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman. But the US president is defying his own intelligence agency. They didn't make a determination. Uh, and it's just like I said, I think it was very, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. They did not make that assessment. The CIA has looked at it, they've studied it a lot. They have nothing definitive. And the fact is, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Donald Trump says Crown Prince Mohammed had told him personally that he didn't order Khashoggi's killing. The president's being accused of letting Saudi Arabia get away with murder. Trump's statement has outraged many, including US senators, who believe bin Salman was involved in Khashoggi's death. The language that was used, it was as if they were writing a press release for the Saudi Arabia, not for the United States. A group of senators, both Democratic and Republican, have requested Trump investigate the journalist's killing. They want the Crown Prince to be investigated under the Global Magnitsky Human Rights Act. That law allows the president to impose sanctions on a country or individual that's engaged in human rights violations. Riyadh rejects any allegations that Crown Prince Mohammed was involved in Khashoggi's killing. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince has nothing to do with this issue. Um, in fact, uh, the uh, National Security Advisor in the US said this. Um, this was a rogue operation. Last week, funeral prayers were held for Jamal Khashoggi in mosques around the world. But the Saudi critic's body still hasn't been found. Khashoggi was killed in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul on October the 2nd. Saudi Arabia has arrested and charged 18 suspects. The kingdom says the journalist wasn't meant to be killed, but to be persuaded to return to the country. His death has caused a global outcry and damaged Riyadh's relations with some of its allies. Germany has stopped all arm exports to Saudi Arabia. And France says it'll take punitive action if there's evidence to show the Saudi leadership was involved in Khashoggi's killing. But for Donald Trump, his country's ties with the kingdom supersede everything else. This is about America first. They're paying us $400 billion plus to purchase and invest in our country. That's probably the biggest amount ever paid to the United States. This is over a long period of time. It means hundreds of thousands of jobs, billions of dollars of investment and product. And it's not just money that's tying Trump to Riyadh. Saudi Arabia and the United States have been trying to isolate Iran. And the White House is working closely with Saudi Arabia to find a deal to end the conflict between Israel and the Palestinians. But repercussions from Khashoggi's death are not just being felt in the United States. A Reuters report says that Saudi princes are pushing to have Mohammed bin Salman removed as heir to the throne. Although the Saudi foreign minister has told the BBC that any such talk crosses a red line. So has the White House sent a message to world leaders that business ties trump moral values and human rights. Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.